Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls, not really, it's a beer battle yeah, edition. We don't, a <laughs> we don't have a title or yeah. yeah. something. Yeah. Uh, what beers are we battling here? They look uh, beautiful. Uh, they Easter eggs. I feel like you're not amped up enough for this. I'm not. I don't know what's going I on. I demand your excitement. Just putting that out there. Uh, no. So we have two beers from Hot Butcher for the World out of Chicago, Hello. Illinois. And these beers came courtesy of a good friend, viewer Hot of the channel. Butcher. No. These came from Kenny. Oh, yeah. Kenny. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's Kenny cool. B. That's going to be. All right. All right. Uh, so, yeah. We're going to do a beer battle edition, and we'll tell you why right now. So because if you want to hold the can up. They have and... similar names. No. Uh, so <laughs> one is called Clear Your Mind, and it is a 7% ABV. Uh, India Palo Alto with Mosaic, Motueka, yes, and El Dorado. And the second one is Unwind Your Mind, which is a <laughs> loosely described double India Palo Alto coming in at 7.5% ABV, uh, featuring Mosaic, Motueka, and El Dorado. So, yeah, so basically one's a double version, even though it's only 0.5 higher. Yeah. Uh, mine is canned on splotchy black. Mine is canned on splotchy blue. Okay. Fantastic. All right. All right, so we're going to pour it up. Purple goes in orange, because why not? And blue yeah. goes in blue. We need these kind of color reminders. Oh, this one's clear. Oh, this one's hazy. So, okay, I get it now. Clear your mind. Yeah. Hazy and then clear. <sighs> oh, that is... You know, a real channel would have figured that out from the get-go. I didn't want spoilers. Actually, I already knew. No, I knew it's this. It's funny, though, because I've seen this one time and time again. Yeah. And we thought for sure. We're like, we reviewed that. We had to. How long did we that. spend sitting here looking up histories going, no, I, I'm pretty sure we had it. Yeah. But. All right. So, yeah, as you said, one is thick, very like turkey gravy. Hashtag hazy. proper glassware. Come on. Absolutely. And the other one is, uh, it's fairly clear. What are we holding all four up? We're rookies. You hold the clear one up, I'll hold the hazy one up. Look. See how much better this is? Idiots. Remember when we, we couldn't figure out what the... Remember when we was. thought, hey, we're getting good at this. Remember when we thought we knew how to think? Yeah. Uh, that's great. So, <sighs> yeah. Um, milk. Dear God. Yeah. Hop milk. Hop milk. Hop milk, this hazy is. 20 of smelling first. Wait, wait, oh, my gosh. Look at the creamy head on this thing. Devoid of See, all just carbonation. See, just when you're like, oh, I love the clear beers that they're doing, you come back to one of their hazies, you're like, oh, stop it. Oh, gosh. Right, let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's... <sighs> like, dirty berry. Dirty berry, and there's almost like a, oddly enough, there's a bit of smokiness to it. Interesting. Okay. Right. Come off like a, it's got like a sweet vanilla with like a, Nondescript kind of grassiness. Yeah, it's very earthy. Very there, earthy. There's juice in there, but it's a very earthy beer. Yeah, I almost, don't know. A, <laughs> almost a little uh, band aidy, little rubber band aidy. Maybe that's that smokiness. Though. Maybe I think we said that before. Oh, right there. There's a little. Right. There's a little zip of lime to it, right when we come out of the can. You are right. <sighs> that smells good. Oh, it's like a zesty black lime. Yeah. Uh, it smells really good. Do you good. want to smell the next um, one? Or what, do you, what do you want? You want to go through the faces? Yeah, let's taste it. Yeah, okay. let's, let's do that. <laughs> First beer battle we've done. Not really. Thank you, uh, Kenneth. Thank cheers. you. Cheers. We shall, the teleprompter. We uh, shall got, drink the beer now. I got to fix the teleprompter. Okay. Our script is gone awry. Don't even oh, hear that. But the beer gods are not happy with us. They think we are pieces it of shit. It is thundering. If you can't hear that, it's like, it's hard rolling right now. Oh. There's, not oh. Really, there's really not a teleprompter or a script. No, there is not. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Truman Show. Wow. That is, um, that is hefty. It is, that is a full body. Beer. It is thick and oh my creamy and sultry. Um, there is a deep kind of, uh, it's like bubble gum. Yeah. Um, 
the flavors really weigh down on your palate. Like, it, it, you take that sip, and it is creamy, oh, but it just fucking, it's like a weighted blanket yeah. right on your palate. Like, my god. All right, picture this. If you took the flavor profile of Juicy Fruit Bubblegum, but put it, brought out but, but you served it in the Bubble Double Oh, yeah. Serving. So if you had Juicy Fruit, but just imagine Bubble Double, but it's just one big hunk of Juicy Fruit. Double Bubble, but yes. What? Double Bubble. Bubble Double. Double Bubble. Bubble Double. Double Bubble. I think the Dollar Tree one is Bubble Double. (laughs) Okay. Fair enough. (laughs) I just remember Bubble Double. (laughs) Or or do you think this is like a... Is it a... uh, What is it? Mandela? Yeah, Mandela. Yeah, yeah, okay. You're like Double Bubble Double. No, Bubble Double. Berenstain, Berenstain. I don't know. This... If I didn't know any better, this to me drinks like a triple. Like, there, it's sweet. Ooh. I think there's a there's a hop oil it, burniness. Yeah, but this to is it. so candied. Mm-hmm. Um, is I couldn't. I don't. It's know almost I, a little muddled. I don't know if I could finish a can of this. This is very like yeah. cloying to me. <clears throat> Want to get into the other one? Sure. Okay. Okay, so this has more of that the Motueka shines heavy, like shines brighter. This has more of a bright lemon lime kind of character. Okay. It's it doesn't it's not That's masked as that sweet very nicely. uh bubblegum kind of thing. Yeah, uh it's oh. it smells clear too. That's that Motueka juice. That's what he was looking for. Oh. Yeah. Got that uh it's got a nice blueberry aspect to it. I was just going to say, like, that's carbonated blueberry juice. Oh, my gosh. There's something on the back end. I don't know if it's like a watermelon. Like, there's some. Oh, very nice, like, lemon. Is it, is it lemon melon? Spritz. Is it, is like, is. There's a cantaloupe to it back there. Or like maybe a, like a earthy papaya thing. Something earthy. I, I'm, I'm thinking earthy like that. I definitely get a cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, papaya, dragon fruit, earthy, kind of. I like the spritzy carbonation in here. It's really kind of making it more like a little bit of a soda, kind of dances around. What? Mm. Again, this is sweet, but not over cloying. Whereas this one, this doesn't, here's the thing. The, the hops kind of sit on the, the front of the palate, kind of disappear into, uh, a whimsical kind Ooh. of greenness. Oh, whimsical. Whereas this kind of just coats your palate and then just stays there like somebody just jammed up. of your hops. It's like you're being waterboarded with Cool Whip. <laughs> you went from a whimsical journey to being waterboarded. No. When, when I was having a no, great time no. and then I was being tortured. <laughs> No, this one, oh, this one is like a whimsical green on the back, <laughs> and this is being waterboarded with cool. You're being waterboarded with Cool Whip, because that sweet vanilla thing is just so overpowering. That's that's the tasting note Hot Butcher wanted to hear. Ah, oh, it's like being waterboarded with Cool Whip. With you're missing with Cool Whip. Either way, you're being tortured. I, I mean, I think that'd be delicious sometimes, though. We'll do that. Well, that sounds like a Saturday live stream. I will waterboard you with Cool Whip, and we'll see what happens. Oh, my gosh. Um, Is it just me, or does this have, like, a little peppery well, this got fruitier. goodness to it? Take a step of this, but then go to this. It got fruitier. I, I was actually thinking about the cuvee, and I, I think it's going to dumb it down a little bit. Yeah, but the, the, the heavy sweetness is kind of... Get a little more lemon out of it now, but I don't know if it's just this. Yeah, that, that's so sweet. It's sweet AF. It is. You ready to mix them? Well, no. We got to we gotta rate, I think. Or do you want to wait till then? Oh, uh, no. We should probably rate them right now. Uh, I'll give... I'll give this one a, a 3 nine. It's not oh, for me. All right. It's it's okay, but it's it's not for me. This one, this one I really enjoy. I think... I'll give this a 4 two. Okay, I'll give this a, a, a 4 Straight four. So I feel like I could still drink it. Um, and I'll give this a four, two, five. Okay. Because I think this is a little bit more drinkable, a little bit more balanced. Um, for, it's just for a seven and a half, and it's drinking 
just that. I heavy. like triples though. You do. All right. All right. Let's let's Kube? get going. Oh, that's got like a really heavy pineapple right there on that last set. Ooh. Sip. Okay. Angel. Like a whipped Dole Whip pineapple. Oh dear God, we get the Dole Whips going. Dude, I got some in the freezer. Of course you do. I still got leftovers. And we went down to Chill and Grill. Not so secret snack. after school. All right, so it definitely held on to the uh, hazy part, but it's a little darker. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, so that sweetness is broken up. I think you're getting a lot of the nose of um, the clear mind. Um, okay, yeah, I, I definitely still get the aroma uh, of this. Uh, but some of the clear your minds are coming through more. The lemony, lemony zest to it. All right. Jeez, I feel like I've been in a movie. I've I've been in a drama movie, a you've horror been happy, movie. You've been action. tortured. Ooh. Mm. No, my initial reaction was wrong. This is still sweet and like hop oil, cloying. I think it destroyed this this beer waterboarded this beer into submission. And I should have enjoyed it more while I had it. You know what happens when those Quakers get a hold of you. This is a movie I want to watch. The Quakers are the ones doing all this, like, <laughs> weird starting out... It's, I feel like your movie's starting out like Midsummer, and then it's just, like, really devolving into something else. <laughs> Wait till you watch the documentary. I can't wait. I think the behind the scenes are going to be even more exciting. It ages like a fine Kevin Spacey film. <laughs> uh, it's, you know, like confidential in a while. Oh, man. Nick, Nikki watched the documentary. The other night. The Kevin Did Spacey she really? documentary. How was it? Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. They get into all that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. The whole documentary was all about it. Oh, is it really? Oh, yeah. oh geez. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Anyways. Um, <sighs> ah, yeah. I I don't think the cuvee improves it. No, not at all. Uh, it, it destroyed the other beer. Oh, do you want cuvee? Did we do tasting notes? Fuck no, we didn't. <sighs> okay. You want to do one? Yeah. Right. Uh, so we've got bright citrus. I got bright citrus over here. Lychee. I got sweet lychee over here. Dank Tropical. I got Dank Tropical over here. These are the same beer except for 0.5%, and this one is a triple, basically. <laughs> one's so a hazy, not, one's not they're a They're not the same beer at all, so... They taste vastly different. Yeah, they they are very different beers. Very different beers. I, I definitely like the Clear Mind more, obviously. Are you getting but... nervous? Because of the weather? No, no, it's like, I feel like... You know, we've had some hot butcher recently because we, we received a package of hot butcher, mm -hmm. right? And then Kenny sent us some. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the hazies came off kind of rather sweet. Yeah, I, they were coming off a, a bit more cloying and uh, pushing into the... Like, I don't think hot, style. hot butcher used to be more hoppier and less sweet. I'd more say. herbaceous. They were yeah. much more uh, vinous. I don't know. We'll see. We still got a couple more in the fridge to go. Uh, so still go. fun. I keep my eye out for that one if that comes back yeah. around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, no. Kenny. Yeah. Thank you for uh, allowing us to try these beers. We're about to get waterboarded by nature. wild outside. <laughs> you just see your swing set. Just <laughs> <laughs> don't you say that. Don't you say that. Uh, down in the description, you can oh, waterboard you can see yourself it. Now that it's dark out, it's nice and green. No. Yeah. Great. Look, you see the little we're rock in, wall? We're in dusk area now. Oh, we are. We're in prime dusk. Prime right dusk. We got to get some more reviews done. Click Whoa. the links. Check us out. It's awesome. We're great. You are too. Cons Film we're Festival. Just it all in there. Hey. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.